Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom. Bring you guys another video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna cover week four challenges. So guys, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to complete all these challenges. I know you're looking at my screen like, yo, you don't even have all the challenges complete. That's because I wanted to bring you guys this video. I, I knocked out a lot of them. The hardest one is the trap eliminations, but that's because I'm trying to do something crazy for you guys. But it's very simple. We're gonna cover the ones that people came here first for, and that is the vehicle tower, rock sculpture, and circle of hedges, the riddle. That one is extremely hard, you guys. And the reason this one is so hard is because nobody goes to Moisey Meyer. Nobody actually pays attention to Moisey Meyer, so you're not familiar with the area. So you don't know what's in that location. So a lot of people just completely forget about Moisey Meyer and they look at everything else. But basically, Moisey Meyer has a vehicle tower, a rock sculpture on top of a mountain, and a circle of hedges. In between that is where you will find the objective. Very hard riddle. Definitely took me some time to find it and think it was extremely difficult, but here's me actually finding it. All right, so we have to go... Let me pull it up real quick. So it says a vehicle tower, rock sculpture, and a circle of hedges. This one is going to be extremely hard, you guys. Uh, unless you watch a video, it's kind of hard to know. I mean, it takes a lot of knowledge, uh, especially this one right here, because this riddle isn't your normal easy riddles. Like, usually we get a picture or something like that. But here, if you guys look right here, straight in front of me, that's the vehicle tower right there. Um, it's hard to tell because there's multiple vehicle towers all over the map so but that's the one they're talking about circle of hedges is right there in front of me you guys can see it the little circle of hedges and then the rock sculpture is right there just rocks standing on each other balancing in between you got to come into like right here i guess this looks like it's right in between uh and as you guys can see right here you have the item that you have to collect now this one is a lot difficult compared to the other ones but once you collect it nothing happens nothing special happens it just disappears and that's all you do, basically. The next thing that I wanna cover is visit different ice cream trucks. Guys, this one is very simple, but I'm gonna show you guys every single location for the ice cream trucks. One, because it's gonna make your life a lot easier, and two, you're gonna be able to knock like five of them out in one game, extremely quick, extremely easy. But basically, on the screen right now, that image that you see is all the locations for the ice cream trucks. They're in a lot of the big major cities like Greasy Grove, Tilted Towers, Retail, uh, Pleasant Park, and then a lot of them, Flesh Factory, and then a lot of them are just spread out randomly. But you don't wanna go to those random locations because one, once you you land there you're gonna get the objective of course but you're not gonna have any weapons or anything like that so my suggestion is to go towards the bottom of the map maybe hit flush factory so that way you can actually get the chest at flush factory get the ice cream truck at flush factory and then you head over to the right there's a bridge over to the right of flush factory on that bridge you'll actually see another ice cream truck and then if you go to the right again you'll hit moisey meyer you'll be able to knock out three ice cream trucks some chests from flush factory and you'll be able to get the moisey meyer riddle that i was just talking about before this so that's three things knocked out in one game and then you can head through fatal fields head up to to the top of this mountain and you'll find the another ice cream truck guys that's literally the fastest way you can do it the fastest route you can take is that route right there and in the background playing is me actually finding some of the locations where the ice cream trucks are so if you guys want to just follow the exact ones that i went to in the video playing in the background so that way you know where they are that's fine with me as long as you get it done and as quick as possible because it's easy man week four challenges are easy but again you can do it throughout the week and you don't have to rush it as quick as you can the next thing we're going to cover is search chest and flesh factory this one is also another difficult one the three difficult ones is the riddle the ice cream chucks and the flesh factory so that's the first three that we're going to cover in today's video uh but the chest and flesh factory it's pretty simple um in the background playing is actually every single chest location that you guys can see so just watch the background watch the video playing in the background and actually land at these locations now i'm gonna give you guys a tip land at the chest before anyone else because one if you land at the bottom and you try to run up to the chest there's no way you're going to get there you got to get there as quick as you can because if someone else gets there and they open it up and get weapons you're dead it can be difficult but again flesh factory has a lot of chests it's not like freaking wailing woods where wailing woods was extremely hard to find chests this one's actually reasonable and it's actually pretty fun man you can actually kill a whole squad and then end up finding five or six chests that nobody else found because nobody knows exactly where all the chest locations are but with you guys being subscribers and actually following this channel you guys can actually find all the chests before everyone else and it gets too crazy the next thing we're going to talk about is deal damage with the sniper rifles to opponents this one's very simple all you got to do is shoot snipers and actually hit somebody you don't have to kill them but anytime you hit them that deals damage and you only have to deal like 300 damage so my suggestion my tip to you guys is go for headshots because if you use a bolt action and you actually get a headshot even the blue bolt action headshot 
that critical is at like 200 something damage so you're already more than halfway there with just one shot and then the next one you can just get a body shot and you got it in two sniper shots so my opinion definitely get it with snipers go for headshots when you're doing it the next thing on the list is search supply drops this one can be this one can be difficult but a little tip that I want to give you guys is shoot the supply drop as it's coming down the little balloon part of the supply drop that's falling shoot that so you can mark it then you'll see a green bar and it'll always show the green bar wherever the supply drop lands so you can always run to that supply drop and if the green bar disappears that means somebody opened it and that means you don't have to waste your time going there no more because you can't open it no more that's my best tip that I can give you guys on that one the next one we're gonna cover is the one that's been stressing me out so much lately trap eliminations but I'm gonna give you guys a quickest tip on what you have to do if you play in duo or anything like that the second you knock somebody you have to knock that person build a wall around them and just set up the trap they can't run away they can't do anything the trap will eventually eliminate them and it'll count as an elimination if your friend knocks that person and then you try to eliminate them with the trap they're gonna get the trap elimination not you so my suggestion is finding a chest don't do anything but putting up the trap above the chest don't open the chest and let eventually somebody will walk by they'll hear the chest they'll try and open it and they'll die by it that's probably the quickest way that you guys can do it I've been struggling because of this clip right here Come on, trap, do your thing. <laughs> I'm letting, oh my gosh, I was trying to let it, I didn't want to kill him because I didn't. I wanted the trap to go off. I got sniped though. As you guys can see in that clip, Bricky stole my kill. He literally knocked the kid and then my trap finished him and the other dude got out in time so I wasn't able to kill him, which sucks, but it is what it is. I'm still working on it. I'm probably gonna knock it out right after this. I just wanted to try and bring you guys something crazy, something different in the video. But moving on to the last one is eliminate opponents in Tomato Town. This one can be difficult, but again, all you gotta do is land on one of the blacktops, neither the gas station or one of the buildings that have a weapon. Get that weapon and shoot people as they're running around with their ax because there's not that many items you can loot there. So you're gonna actually see a lot of people running around with nothing if you guys want to see here's my clip of me doing it myself oh he choked he choked oh i got him let's go that's two i need one more one more i bet this astronaut literally just saved my life and i killed that guy there we go guys there's four kills right off the bat i don't need any more i literally had one hp but i did it man I did it, and I think I can go get more kills. But there you guys have a week four challenges, the fastest way you guys can actually complete all of them. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys were so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know that this is the quickest way to complete week four challenges. Copy the link and share it. Send it to your friends, text it to your friends, so that way they can actually find the rock sculpture, the ice cream trucks, and all that stuff at Flush Factory. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much. I'm actually hosting a giveaway with Casual Pro. He's another YouTuber. We're both hosting it. If you guys want to go subscribe to his channel, but first click on the link in the description and then subscribe to his channel from that link. That's how you actually enter in the giveaway. If you enter all the things in the description, you have up to 15 entries in the giveaway. So you have a bigger chance of winning. It's a massive giveaway. But again, thank you guys for everything and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.